Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. I'm going to kind of look real quick at what all the elements are on a candlestick chart that may be showing us again that there is a can or a uh, market reversal about to occur. That's the first analysis. The second analysis we're going to go through is if this market is reversing, what are the best sectors? or stocks to be in to take advantage of this reversal. What would be a worst case situation would be knowing that the market is reversing with great strength and not being in the right stocks at the right time. As we demonstrated a couple weeks ago, look at all the elements after the sell signal in the Dow what we had going on. We went from being overbought, seeing the sell signal closing below the T-line, and then it started moving a good distance away from the T-line after gapping down in the oversold area. What was the alert? The fact that we were this far away from the T-line. What happened? What we suspected. Bullish reversal, which was a simple Candlestick reversal signal followed by bullish confirmation in the oversold area. What was the first target? The T-line. After that, we could analyze what was going on there with the failure of the T-line. Now what did we have in progress? A bearish J-hook. Wave 1, wave 2, wave 3. What did we see on Thursday? Where do most people sell? They panic sell at the bottom, in the oversold area. And when it closed here, where were we? Look how far away we are from the T-line. Friday, we saw bullish confirmation. What makes for our likely first target? Back up here to the T-line. And what are the targets after that? Maybe up here to the, the uh, 200 or the 50. Now, we also have to take into an account what is the nature of this market. Up day, down day, up day, down day, up day, down day. This market still has a hard time figuring out which way it wants to go. So do we sit down heavily yet based upon a positive uh, potential of positive open? Not yet, but this is where candlestick analysis provides a huge advantage. We know what to expect or should expect after a potential reversal signal. Positive trading. If we wake up on Monday morning and it's opening down here, obviously you don't want to be jumping in yet because the nature of the market up and down is still in progress. As far as long-term holds, look where the market pulled back to. All the way back to the same level it was back eight months ago. And now we're starting to see some buying. That adds a little bit of credibility to the possibility of a uh, reversal. And look what happened on the 10-minute chart on Friday. Kind of a fry pan bottom, a wedge formation. And then in the last 20 minutes of the trading day, they took it up hard. Almost to the 200-day moving average after breaking out through this wedge. What did this pretty much tell us at the end of the day? Either the the uh, conference or the, uh, uh, the Trump uh, announcements that they were going to add liquidity to the markets, help industries and do everything to stop the virus, or this was shortcoming. But the result or the cause does not matter. This is what the result was that buyers were stepping in. This was an area where the bulls and the bears had finally figured out which way or who was winning by the end of the day. But the reversal signal was much more compelling on the NASDAQ. Look at kind of your inverted hammer and then your hammer signal. Remember what happened here. Look how far away we were from the T-line. And it came up and did a meeting line. Where was the first target back up to the T-line? Does this necessarily mean we're heading back up and have a full-scale reversal? 
No, but the probabilities are showing us that with stochastics in the oversold area, after a big gap down in the oversold area, and that far away from the T line, the buying still gives us the prospects of of uh, coming back up here to test the T line. When it does that, what's that tell us? It tells us we want to watch to see what happens at that level to see if they're going to go through or back off again, still using the uh, the T line as a resistance. Now, what's the other factor that we want to take advantage of? if there is a major market reversal. We want to identify which stocks or sectors is going to perform the best in the next bullish move. What would really hurt was to see that we could analyze that there was a market reversal and we put our funds in the wrong places. The benefit of simple scanning techniques allows the candlestick investor to pinpoint which stocks or sectors was likely to act the best in the next price move. For example, we can see without a relative strength index on our chart, which stocks were acting the best. The shipping stocks, the tank tanker stocks, look how these things started. There was an inverted hammer, big bullish move, a bobble or a J-hook pattern set up. And notice what it did when the market was heading in a downtrend for the last four weeks. These stocks were heading up. This makes it very simple. If they start trading positive on Monday, you can be a buyer because that tells you this J-hook pattern is in progress, that we're still continuing up in this sector. Same analysis. Remember, we pointed out in ERUN, the, the strength that was being created with a doji gap up, doji gap up. It failed up here at the uh, the 50. Did we give up on it? No, we kept it on our watch list because what type of pattern is it setting up right here? After failing at the 50, after showing that they weren't going to close it below the T-line, and now back up here to the 50, this becomes a much more powerful J-hook pattern in the sense that if it opens positive, it's telling us the 50 is not acting as resistance anymore that if you took the 50 out, you've got a very strong J-hook pattern in progress. At least we can analyze, and this is what we're going to be doing uh, Monday and Wednesday, showing how you scan for the stocks that would likely perform the best if we have a new market or a bullish market in progress. Thank you for listening. Everything built into candlestick analysis is merely common sense put into a graphic depiction. You don't have to be a sophisticated technical investor. All you have to do is recognize when there's been changes in investor sentiment, which is what candlestick signals and patterns clearly reveal. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.